Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides, including Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Today I'm going to be talking about how to create an index using Microsoft Word. And an index usually appears at the end of a book or at the end of a long paper. It lists important terms and then shows the page numbers that they appear on. And of course you cannot create this manually. It would be a nightmare and also it would change every time that you you know added a new paragraph or deleted something. So the index basically keeps everything up to date for you. And it does this by creating some special codes that appear in the Microsoft Word document that you've created. So let's take a look and see how it works. Now, this is the Mac version of Microsoft Word, but the Windows version looks and behaves exactly the same for the most part. And I'm going to show you how to create an index. Now, this is a manuscript for one of our books. And let's say that I wanted to take these names here, Eve and Phil, and I wanted to put them into an index that appears at the end of the manuscript. And this is how you do it. So basically, the first thing you do is you highlight the term, Eve. Right now, it's on the Home tab, or the Home ribbon. Go to the References ribbon, and you'll see at the top, there's an entry that says Mark Entry. Click on that, and this little box will appear. It will say what the text is, and you can change this if you want to. Like, you can make this uh, Evelyn. It says current page. That means it'll just show the current page that it appears on when you create the index. But you can also do something like create a cross-reference. So do uh, cross-reference C Eve. Okay. Whatever you do, once you're all set, hit the mark button. Okay. Let's close that little pop-up window. And I want to show something to you. So. I created this entry here. You can see Eve, and then there's a bit of code, brackets, XE, quote, Evelyn, end quote, and then end brackets. This bit of code here, this little uh, bracketed code, it will not appear in the printed document. It only shows up when you're creating an index, and Microsoft Word sees it. It's kind of like an invisible code, and then it uses it to create the index. And one other thing you should notice, you'll notice that there's other bits of code here for this term, OneDrive, and then down here, Word 2016. All of them have already been marked up. And the, basically the way that I did that is I used a keyboard shortcut. When I uh, find a word that I want to use, like fill, I just use the keyboard shortcut and it will automatically pop up this mark index entry. So I just went through the whole manuscript and did that for all of the words that I wanted. So. Once you're done, once you have all of the words marked up that you want to, it's just a matter of going down to the end of the page or the end of the report. Okay, this is the last page. Put your cursor right there, last page, and then again on the references tab, go to where it says insert index and click the button. It will give you a little dialogue showing how you want to format it. I'm just going to take the defaults and click OK. All right, wonderful. It's done it. So all of these terms, I've already marked them up. Let's see if I can find Phil and Eve, which I just put in there. Yeah, so Phil, see that? It marked it up in the index, page 5. That's great. Now, one other thing I want to say if you create a whole bunch of index entries and you come to the document and then you notice that they're not there, don't panic. They actually are there, they're just invisible, you can't see them. To make them visible, go to the Home tab and click the paragraph marker, show all non-printing characters, click that, and then you'll see the little codes appear along with some other non-printing characters including space marks and paragraph marks and whatnot. So that's how you make an index using Microsoft Word. For more information, step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this, check out our book, Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Thanks so much for watching.